Okay, let's start the sew along for this top. The pattern is ME2053. It's a super cute knit top with neckties and ruching along the bust. Um, I already did the pants sew along in a different video, so you can find that on the Nomi YouTube channel. And here's the line drawing on the back, and it's super cute, and I can't wait to see you guys make it. So let's start. Okay, so I'm first going to go over the pieces. This is the piece number one. It's the upper front piece, and you're going to cut two. Make sure to mark all your markings and notches. This is pattern piece two, and it's the lower front, and you're going to cut one on the fold. And this is piece three. It's the yoke front, and you're going to cut two. And this is piece four, and it's the tie that goes around your neck, and you're going to cut one. And this is piece five. It's the back bodice, and you're going to cut one on the fold. And this is the neck facing, and you're going to cut one. It's pattern piece six. And this is piece seven. It's the sleeve. You're going to cut two that are mirrored. Okay, so the first step is we're going to stay stitch the yoke at the bottom, just from marking to marking along the bottom. There's going to be two dots. You'll stay stitch it right there. Okay, next we're going to attach the yoke to the bodice back and you're going to attach it at the shoulder seams and you'll stitch it at 5 8 inch. Okay, so I have stitched the yokes on, and since I serged them, um, I'm not going to trim it. And we're going to press those, and then we're going to stay stitch the neckline so it doesn't stretch out. So I'll press the um, seams right here, and then we'll stay stitch the neckline, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my neck facing. I'm going to go press it in half, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've pressed the neck facing in half, and then we're going to pin it to the top of the shirt with right sides together. And then, so we'll pin it along the neckline, and then we will sew it at 3 8 inch seam allowance. And you might have to stretch it just a little bit to fit it to the end. Okay, now that I've pinned it, we're going to stitch it at 3 8 inch. Okay, now I'm going to trim this just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to go understitch this. You're going to understitch the seam allowance onto the facing. So I'm going to go stitch a line right so as close to this seam line as possible. And then the seam allowance is towards the facing. So we'll just stitch right here and I'll do that and be right back. Okay, so now that we've understitched the facing, um, I'm going to go press it. And then I'm going to baste it um, 
we're gonna baste it down. So I'll go press it and then we'll just baste it, fold it under like that. Okay, so I've basted that down. It's kind of wavy, but once you get a, give it a good steam, it'll even out. Okay, so now we're gonna be working on the upper front and we're gonna put them right sides together and then we're gonna sew along the top from marking to marking and then on the bottom from marking to marking. So we'll go sew that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so you should have actually, um, the stitching lines, so right here, you're gonna stitch three lines to have the channels for the tie to go through, but, um, I accidentally sewed over it and didn't leave it open. So I'll just um, unpick that. And then we're gonna turn it right sides out and press it. And then after that, we'll pin it to the back. And I will show you that in just a minute. Okay, so it doesn't say it in the, um, it doesn't say it in the instructions, but we're actually going to, on the top, we're going to clip the seam allowance. Just not all the way to the stitching line, but almost. So we'll just clip it right to the stitching line. And then also we'll trim the bottom. And I'll trim the top. Okay, so you can see where we've clipped it, um, the seam allowance, you can still pull out that edge that we haven't sewn yet. And then I'm going to go press this and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've pressed this and now we're going to stick it onto the, to the back bodice and this is going to go okay and so when you pin one side to it you're going to flip the other upper front over and sandwich the yoke in between and then we'll stitch that at 5 8 inch and we'll repeat it for the other side okay so I've stitched the front to the yokes and now um, we're gonna baste the sides of the upper front closed. So we'll baste it down right here. And then we're gonna do the stitching lines on the front. And I'm gonna just quickly mark that again. And then I'll do three lines of stitching and that's where it's going to ruche up for the ties, like that. So I'll go do that. I'll base the sides and then we're going to do the three lines of stitching and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to do the tie strap and this is not it. Okay, now I'm going to do the tie that goes around your neck and we're just going to fold it in half and press it and then stitch it and then we'll turn it right side out. Okay, I used a loop turner to start turning this. Sorry, I thought it was recording and it wasn't, so I didn't get the first step, but I use a loop turner. You can also use a safety pin or a needle. Um, I think these are the easiest. And then, so I've got it. We'll turn it all the way out. 
Okay, and this is gonna be the necktie. Now we're going to thread this through the upper front. Let me grab that. Okay, so I'm gonna use a safety pin. So actually, you're gonna go down, down and then back up because it ties around the neck. I just got that mixed up. Okay, and you can kind of see with the ruching, it kind of gives a sweetheart neckline. And now let's move on to the next step. Let me find it. So we're gonna take the lower front and we're gonna fold it once and then fold it again, creating a narrow hem. And you're gonna do that, fold it towards the wrong side of the fabric and I will grab that really quick. Move this. Okay, so we're just gonna fold. I'm gonna go press this down and then we're gonna roll it again one more time. And you're gonna do it until five eight. So you should have a mark at the top and if both, both folds end at the dot. So it'll be five eighths inch. So I'll go press that and then be right back. Okay, so now that we have the ties through and we've done the narrow hem, we are going to move on to step 18. And with right sides up, lap upper front over lower front, matching centers and symbols, base sides together. Okay, so we're just gonna put the top over the back, matching the notches, and then we're going to baste it shut. And then the next step is to sew the front and back together. Okay, so we have the bottom and we're going to um, put the top over it matching the notches and we'll go ahead, okay, okay, and then we will pin this side matching those notches now that we have it pinned and overlapped i'm gonna go base that and then base this side also and then um and then we're gonna okay now that i have this pinned i'm gonna go base this side and this side and i'll be right back okay now that we've basted the sides we're going to Flip the front over the back with right sides together. And we're gonna stitch the side seams. So we'll just stitch these side seams and we'll do that at 5 eighths inch on both sides and then we'll be right back. Okay. I have surged the side seams and then you also don't have to serge it. If you just have a regular machine, that totally works. Just use a zigzag stitch. And now the last step is to do the sleeves. So you should have marks at the sleeve cap and we're going to ease. So we're going to sew basting stitches from this one to this one. And then we're gonna ease this sleeve a little bit to make it easier to sew onto the top. So, and then once you do that, then we'll sew the sleeve, the longer seam on the sleeve right there on both ones. And then we're gonna attach it to the shirt. So I'm gonna go, go do a line of stitching from this mark to this mark and then we'll eat we'll gather it a little bit and i'll be right back okay i've sewed both sleeves and now we're going to 
pin the sleeves. We're gonna turn them right side out. I'll just trim that. Okay, we'll turn it right side out. Okay, and then matching the notches on the sleeve to the sleeve to the bodice. I have my bodice inside out and my sleeve right side out. And matching the notches, we're going to stick the sleeve inside the bodice matching up the seams let's see okay i'm gonna go sew the sleeve at five eighths inch and i'll do that on both sides and then i'll be right back okay i've sewed both sleeves on and turn it right sides out Okay, and now the only thing we have left to do is press it and then we're gonna hem the bottom of it and we're gonna hem the sleeves. We're gonna fold it up and press it at 5 8 inch and then sew it down and then we can unpick this basting stitches and then we're gonna be done and i will be right back and show you the finished garment okay here's the finished product the finished shirt um this is a little loose but on me i have bigger boobs than the dress form so it's it'll fit better but i think it's so cute i can't wait to see all your shirts and let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments